It's time for a Lucia Capital Group weekly video. Have you ever wondered if you haven't saved enough for retirement? That's certainly a valid concern. Nobody wants to be caught short-handed when it's time to hang it all up. But has it ever occurred to you that you actually may be saving too much for retirement? Believe it or not, that can happen. Now, before you think I'm suggesting that saving money is bad, let's clear that up. Building your savings is always a very good thing. In fact, we're in the business of helping people do just that. And while undersaving is, of course, a problem, it's also true that setting your savings goals too high may also be a problem. Now, why is that? Because if your saving and investing goals are set higher than they need to be, you may be missing out on an opportunity to retire much sooner than you thought you could. One of the contributing factors to this dilemma is the 4% rule, and that we've talked about in prior videos. This rule, which is really more like a guideline, assumes you'll need to increase your income withdrawals in retirement every year for inflation. Thus, you can only safely take 4% withdrawals. But the research indicates that people's rate of spending actually goes down in retirement, especially after age 75 or so. And this holds true even when you factor in healthcare costs, which is one of the few expenses that tend to go up dramatically with age. Now this makes sense intuitively. Think for a moment, a $50,000 income today at age 65, a 2% inflation each year, that equates to almost 91,000 per year 30 years from now at age 95. Do you think that a 95 year old really needs almost double the income they had at age 65? I don't think so. How much discretionary spending does a 95 year old really have? So how does this relate to saving too much? If you spend your entire working life trying to reach an amount of savings in your portfolio that'll give you an inflation adjusted income every year for 30 years, income that you may not even need, then the only people who could wind up benefiting from your hard work are your heirs who may wind up with a larger nest egg handed down to them. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but working several extra years at a job you don't like in order to supply yourself with an income you may never need can take a toll on your health or cause you to miss out on special family events because you're working long hours, and that's not good. The 4% guideline says you have to give yourself a raise for inflation every year which of course means that your portfolio when you retire has to be that much bigger in order to be able to spin off all that future income well into your 90s if you live that long. Maybe you're 60 years old right now. You want to retire in a couple of years, but you run the numbers and you find out that your portfolio is short of giving you that income you'll supposedly need. You just throw up your hands and say, I'll never be able to retire. Now, I don't like that. Wouldn't it be nice to know that those future income figures might be wrong? and that you just have to be able to retire on what you have right now? Why not find out? Talk with us, give us a call, and let's see what happens. You may be pleasantly surprised.